Okay, so my Sunset Riders review clocked in at a whopping 17 minutes, and I wouldn't be surprised if some of you folks tapped out midway through. So, for this video, I want to keep things brisk and review a lighter title for the SNES. And what better way to decide on one than to bring out the old game wheel? Here we go, easy peasy, light and breezy. Woo! Aha! All right, let's get something nice and casual. Keep it simple. Oh, sweet Jesus. No, no, not Final Fantasy III. No, no! Oh, whew. thank God. <laughs> you would have had to pack a lunch for that one. Looks like we're doing Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage. Works for me. Let's go! So, Looney Tunes and the Super Nintendo were best buds throughout the latter's lifespan, and we got quite a few games out of that friendship. Daffy Duck got a game, the Roadrunner got a game, Speedy Gonzalez got a game, Taz got a game, Tiny Toons got two games, there was a Mario Paint knockoff, there was a basketball game, and even Porky Pig got a game, and absolutely nobody likes Porky Pig. I personally am a little bummed we never got a Foghorn Leghorn game, but whatever. And it goes without saying that we got a Bugs Bunny game with Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage, developed by Viacom New Media. Media, published by Sunsoft and released in 1994. And it won't surprise you to know that this is a platformer, much like a lot of the other games based on cartoons. But Rabbit Rampage differentiates itself by being remarkably faithful to the source material. In fact, this whole game is almost like one big homage to classic Bugs Bunny cartoons, much in the same way Mickey Mania was to classic Disney shorts. You guide Bugs through nine levels, each of which harkens back to a classic skit you may have seen growing up. Like, you might recognize this bull here from the Bully for Bugs short from 1953. Or small but recurring characters like the Crusher or Witch Hazel who casts the spell on you and turns you into Michigan J. Frog. <laughs> Seriously, if I went through all the references, this video would be 17 minutes long. And like I said, we are not doing that this time around. But it's great when a licensed game makes such thorough use of its license, which is what this game does. The level designs themselves are good, but not spectacular. While they are largely sensical, you're not getting Earthworm Jim levels of creativity. The Taz level is all right, and that you need to lead him through these trees until you get to the petrified one. And that's kind of different, but boy, this bird section was a disaster. Like, where do I jump? But let's get to what matters, the gameplay. And bad news, dudes, it kind of sucks. <laughs> First, let's start with Bugs' moveset, which is odd. They give you a rundown after the title screen, and if you're like me, you probably saw Push a Low Pie and thought, what? <laughs> is that a euphemism or something? But yeah, throwing a pie is a main attack, and I guess they needed to differentiate between throwing it while standing and throwing it while ducking. And one move they didn't show us was the head stomp, which I didn't even know existed until I got to the second boss, and it was the only way to kill him. Jeez, sloppy instructions, guys. <clears throat> I do love this big kick, though. You also pick up items which you could use throughout, although a lot are useless in that they either do little damage or are wildly impractical to use, and really only serve to make some goofy animation. I do like how you could cycle through them while you're paused, however. Playing this game will often make you hate this game. <laughs> Everything feels off, and a lot of the time your attacks just won't connect. Like, why can't you kick a character that's dazed? Bugs will floaty jump around these levels, and you'll always be missing landings, or something will fly in from off screen and hit you. Why can't I throw a pie through this tree when I could jump through it? Ah, okay, get in the hole. Ah, get in the hole. Jump. Ah, oh, ah, mm. ah, oh, have I made my point yet? <laughs> Lots of shitty cheap deaths that could be blamed on bad gameplay and level design. This game is hard, but for all the wrong reasons. Like, Jesus Christ, Daffy, stop, I'm already dead. <laughs> Ugh, moving on to the graphics, things are looking damn fine, and I think that's where they put all of their effort, so kids can see screenshots in Nintendo Power and be duped into buying this game that handles like it's drunk. But no, nah, for real. Look at these big, awesome sprites that look and move damn near identical to their cartoon counterparts. The big bull slamming into the anvil is a thing of beauty. And the big bad wolf huffing and puffing looks great, to such a degree that you'll want to press onwards not out of enjoyment of the game, but just out of a desire to see all the cool shit ahead. Now, when it comes to the music of this game, I'm not gonna lie, I had to go onto YouTube and listen to it again because even after playing it for several hours, absolutely nothing stood out. I mean, it's serviceable in that it's lighthearted fare that can accompany the on-screen buffoonery. It's inspired by the cartoons, which are themselves often inspired by various classical and folk songs. So you'll get the pseudo-Mexican hat dance and the bullfighting stage, and Ride of the Valkyries and the space stage,
But other than that, it's pretty simple stuff. For sound effects, you're getting all the boinks, honks, roings, and whacks from the cartoon, and very, very minimal voice samples. What's up, Doc? Which I think is a big missed opportunity. The graphics go the extra mile to capture the spirit of the cartoons, and voice samples would have taken it to the next level. At least we get a that's all, folks, when the game's over. That's all, folks. Now, time for the big question of whether you should buy this game. In a nutshell, sure, why not? Main reason being it's not available anywhere else, and it costs less than 10 bucks. And of all the Looney Tunes games, this one is probably one of the better ones, and definitely the Looney Tooniest. It still is a one-player game you can beat in one sitting, but don't lie and tell me you haven't spent $10 on something way stupider. So, to wrap it up, Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage gets a 6.8 out of 10. I really hated the gameplay, but they did a fantastic job capturing the essence of Looney Tunes. Probably more fun to watch than actually play, however. Have fun.